every day on land and at sea. Through education and research, Soundwaters inspires and teaches important science and life skills to children and young adults from all backgrounds to understand, value, and protect our environment, and in particular, Long Island Sound. Founded over 30 years ago in response to an environmental crisis, Soundwaters has taught the science of Long Island Sound to a generation of students, hundreds of thousands of students. By connecting them to the beauty, joy, and science of their local environment, they have developed into today's environmental stewards. Does Soundwaters make an impact? The students of 30 years ago are today's decision makers, voters, and parents. Did Soundwaters have an influence on them? Ask former students and they will often recount their Soundwaters experience in detail and describe it as transformative. Today, Soundwaters has reached another exciting inflection point. This one motivated by opportunity, not crisis. By building the Cohen Soundwaters Harbor Center, they are laying the foundation for the future to work with so many more young people in the million acre classroom of Long Island Sound. The Harbor Center will give Soundwaters the resources to help new and different groups of young people realize their ambition in school and in life. The Harbor Center is designed to meet the needs of three anchor programs. For 14 years, Soundwaters Young Mariners has used the power of sailing to build life skills and academic skills to energize students each summer through their formative middle school years. Hi, my name is Star. I've been at Young Mariners for four years. I've completed the program, and I was at the program at Cove Beach before too. And not everyone does sailing, so like getting to say, oh, I do sailing is kind of different. And then also like the sailing aspect of it, like I like being on the water and then almost like the, the it's kind of like mathematical, but like not really with angles and the wind. So I like kind of figuring it out and then figuring out like which way the wind's going and how I could go the fastest. Learning to sail fosters both independence and teamwork. In a sailboat, every decision a child makes has a consequence and they are responsible for the result. When they're not on the water, students are growing academically through extra training in math and science. Entering before their sixth grade year and returning every summer until high school, students gain confidence and a sense of achievement that launched them into their next school year with positive momentum. In 2016, we merged with Soundwaters, and I think that that really was able to elevate the program to where it is today. Uh, we had always tried to infuse uh, character strengths like teamwork and perseverance and hard work and, and responsibility into our programming, but it was just kind of generically there. Uh, when I started working with Mike Bagley, we both had a common vision with the idea of kind of infusing more social, emotional, and, and character strengths within the program. So we got to expand on that idea of teamwork, perseverance, determination, compassion, empathy, respect. And here they have an opportunity to come and realize, how do I interact with the world? And, and what is my place in the world? And I think that that's a, a piece that a lot of students sometimes, they, they miss because they're so stressed out keeping up with their homework and keeping up with their grades and, or throwing their arms up in despair when they don't get it. Here, they all have an opportunity to succeed, whether it's with racing or uh, being on the water or sailing, um, whether it's with uh, some of the classroom stuff or not, there's, there's something here that each student gets to succeed at and excel at. Being part of the Young Mariners community is really great. Like, just the experience of being here is like amazing. Like, every day we come, we all get together in a circle. It's really cool experience. Like, you get to meet new people, make new friends. You have fun with the counselors. They teach you a lot about things, not only about sailing. Like, we do a lot of things like math, science. Uh, we learn about how to rig a boat, de-rig a boat. Uh, and a lot, a lot of fun things out in the waters. Young Mariners is currently only a five-week summer program. The Harbor Center will allow the program to run year-round so that even more Young Mariners will learn, sail, and achieve 12 months a year. These experiences 
are the, the things that shape them into the adults that they are going to grow up to be. I've had the privilege of seeing so many of our campers go through the program, become counselors, become adults, a few of them getting married, um, having kids. And it, it's just so amazing to just see the amazing human beings that they grow up to be. Ample space in the Harbor Center means that even as Young Mariners grows, Soundwaters will have room to work with another very different group of students. If you are a high school student with an interest in marine science, where do you go to immerse yourself more deeply and build the skills that will advance your college and even career aspirations? Expensive travel programs are an option, but not for most families. And with a million acres of Long Island Sound to explore, why not stay right at home? Soundwaters Research Intensive is designed to be a world-class science experience right on Long Island Sound. Soundwaters created the Soundwaters Research Intensive, or SRI, for local high school students to have the opportunity to practice real hands-on science. We want students leaving this program and being really excited about science and knowing that there's a lot of opportunities in this field for them. Hi, my name is Bianca Adonis. I am a student at West Hill High School and I'm currently a senior. I joined session two of SRI this summer and it was really fun and amazing and I got to meet amazing friends and we got to learn a lot this summer. I learned how to use different instruments. I thought this was really cool, especially for me, because I didn't, I didn't have these kind of objects at school. So it's cool to see them not only just in textbooks or videos, but to actually use them in real life. Hi, I'm Lila and I participated in the Sound Waters Research Intensive of 2021. When I first saw it, I knew that I'd like it because I've always been very passionate about the sound and keeping it clean and um, helping protect the ocean and the problems of plastic pollution. And I thought that this would be a really interesting way to learn more about it. We went out about twice a week on the research vessel and we got to trawl throughout different parts of the sound. And then once we brought up the net, I got to hold horseshoe crabs and flounders, and I got to study what different types of animals look like in the sound. A large, fully equipped lab in the Cohen Soundwaters Harbor Center, 12 month access to the sound on Soundwaters research vessel, and the chance to contribute to ongoing research studies will give talented and motivated students a college level experience to build their passion for science and prepare them for college and career. I, in the future, I definitely wanna do something related to the at least animal field. I am not so sure yet, but I do know for 100% that I want to be an activist for animals. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really um, focused on like the plastic pollution in the water. I find that to be the most concerning. And I want to work either with biology or engineering to help come up with ways to prevent it or to help fix it and come up with possible solutions for it. The third program moving into the new Harbor Center is designed for a group of young people whose career path may not include college. How many people work on Long Island Sound? It surprises many to learn that the Sound is a place of tremendous employment. In Connecticut alone, 75,000 people rely on the Sound for their livelihood, driving $11 billion in economic output. Marinas and boat yards, fishing boats, tugboats, ferries and dredgers. The jobs are there. But the pathway to getting one is not clear, so young people who have never been exposed to the waterfront may never even imagine a maritime career. Soundwaters created Harbor Corps to be that pipeline, the opportunity for young people to find stable, well-paying jobs that can support a family. Harbor Corps is a workforce development program that was born from the idea that around the coast of Connecticut there are literally thousands, tens of thousands of jobs, opportunities for people to find meaningful employment in careers. But if you've never grown up, if you haven't grown up by the sound or if you've never been exposed to boats or the water or commercial fishing or some of the other opportunities, you don't even know they exist. And for a lot of young people who uh, go to high school here in, in Fairfield County, if they're not bound for college, there's not always a clear path for them to follow to figure out what their next step is. And if there is a clear next step, it's not always a great career path for them or a place that leads them to the next opportunity and the next opportunity after that. We have students who graduate from high school and they're not sure what to do the next day. 
The students who are going off to a two-year or four-year university, we have programs in place over the summer to continue to help support them. But we really don't have anything for that child who has decided, hey, you know what? I wanna start my own company. Or hey, I wanna get a certification. Or I might want to get an entry-level position. So Harbor Core is exactly what we're looking for. For the clients that we meet, the bad news is they got arrested, but the good news is, is as a result of getting sent to an AIC program, maybe things will get better. What we, what we know about reoffense rates is that if someone has a job, it makes them 50% less likely to reoffend. It is the number one factor that impacts recidivism in any community. So anytime there's an opportunity for somebody to learn a skill, learn a trade, put themselves on a sustainable career path, I'm really all about it. I run a company called Sea Streak. It's a high-speed ferry company. Uh, we operate nine vessels. The jobs on our boats uh, range from a deckhand to a mate to a captain. On the engineering side, we do uh, em employ an engineer on every uh, vessel that we run. And those are very highly skilled positions, uh, especially uh, with the captain and, and engineer. They're highly compensated individuals as well. You know what a college education gets you on a, on a ship, uh, whether it's a ferry or a tugboat or you know, a big cargo ship, you start at the bottom and you work your way up. I think Soundwaters has a unique ability to let you f try and, and figure out if you are interested in the marine industry um, by taking you through uh, you know, the basics uh, in, in, uh, in the marine uh, world. Soundwaters is building a professional grade workshop in the Harbor Center to provide Harbor Corps members with technical skills training while instilling the critical work skills required for entry-level jobs in the maritime industry. The Cohen Soundwaters Harbor Center will be a unique waterfront asset dedicated to education and youth development. Located on Stamford Harbor, steps from Soundwaters large fleet of boats, the two-story facility will meet important needs of the community. The Cohen Soundwaters Harbor Center is the centerpiece of Soundwaters vision for the next generation. To support this vision, Soundwaters is seeking $15 million in philanthropic support from the community. And so far, the community has responded enthusiastically and generously. We first got involved with Soundwaters through our youngest son, Brendan, who began at uh, Soundwaters in the summer camp uh, and was so enamored with uh, sound waters that he eventually became a junior instructor and then an instructor uh, uh, with, with the summer program. Uh, it, it certainly gave him a love of environment and he went on to do his studies at university in environmental science. I was on the sound waters board, I want to say maybe five years and really loved being a part of the organization and I think it was very special, not just because of the great service that Soundwaters does to Stanford, but also for our family situation with Brendan yep. being so involved. It was exciting to be involved in something that he cared so much about. And I think Soundwaters changed his life. And I have 100% trust in the beautiful, beautiful facility that's going to emerge there. Mm -hmm. And that made it easy to give. Governor Ned Lamont and local officials support this vision. They joined Soundwaters last spring to break ground for the new facility. The grand opening will be next June. Invest in Soundwaters. They have been a leader in the local community for 30 years, and you can trust them to deliver for the next 30. But they can't do it without your support. Help them build the future for young people, for the community, and for the environment. I'm Jack Brewer. Uh, I've known about Soundwaters since its founding, I think. I was involved with Young Mariners. I've contributed to Young Mariners over the years. Uh, I've always been involved with the water, being in the boatyard marina business all my life. Uh, so I think the more, more that people can know about Long Island Sound, what goes on, I think it's just very, very important. 
I think the campaign is very important. I think the educational process that, that, that these kids learn here at Soundwaters is very, very important for their future. It, and it deals so much with underprivileged children or kids. I think our nation needs that. And I think to contribute to it is a very worthwhile thing. Thus my contribution. Together with Soundwaters, we will continue to transform our community's relationship with Long Island Sound, creating greater access to a million acre classroom to teach thousands more students to help them realize their ambitions.